Hello everyone, my name is Putty and welcome to a channel update for June. I have been trying to do this channel update for a while. Over the last few weeks I've recorded it three times and all of those times I decided I didn't want to upload it either because of the things I said or the quality of the video or one thing or another. Um, but I think it's really important that I get this video out. <laughs> There's a few things I want to say. And also, I think it's just important to keep people up to date. So we're going to run through the points as quickly as I possibly can. What has happened over the last few months? How do I feel about it? And what is going to happen going forward? So first of all, I'm going to start with the most important thing. Road to Glory 2016 was a really fun series to do. And you guys gave me a ton of support on those, video, on, on those Twitch streams. And I just want to say that I'm really thankful for that. All the support I got over on Twitch over the, uh, in that first month was, it meant a ton to me. Um, it really, really helped me out at a time where I really needed the help. And I just want to say thank you very much for that, genuinely. Um, and for anyone who's stuck around afterwards and continues to show support, um, thank you for that as well. So what has been happening? Obviously, the activity on the channel has gone down significantly since the end of Road to Glory. Now, the final, final episode of Road to Glory never got uploaded on the channel. All but one half. The only one that hasn't is the final Lucha Mania episode. And that probably isn't going to be uploaded on the channel. The reason is, me and Tucker are very kind of emotional bookers, emotional performers. And we recorded that, and the audio desynced. And I think... For the kinds of performers me and Tucker are, when we go through that show and we, we've done it, we're kind of done, right? We move on from that. And it, it's quite difficult to get us back in the frame of mind to do it again. So if you want to see that, you can probably check out the VOD over on Twitch. If not, check me a Twitter message or a DM or, or join our Discord and... Just tell me that you'd like, like, if I get enough people saying they're okay with the desynced version, I might just upload it, but it is terrible. So there is that. Or if anybody has any other ideas to get it public without it being public, you can let me know as well. Um, so Road to Glory finished. I did not buy TW 2020, although I probably will eventually. Um, it's not a game, it, it didn't wow me, and I was kind of done with TW after Road to Glory, which is weird. It's supposed to be a warm-up series, and it very much just was a series, um, and it kind of got me spent. So I, I don't really want to play TW right now, um, so that's why there hasn't been any TW content on the channel. That's why there hasn't been any me playing TW over on Twitch. However, there has been a 2004 WWE series that Tucker is putting together and is being streamed over on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash Matsudaira. <coughs> Tucker has put that together and is the brains behind that operation. Uh, I'm doing a lot of the booking, but he's got control of the game. Uh, he's uploading the pay-per-views over on his channel, Silly Tuck, um, but all of the shows are being booked over at twitch.tv slash Matsudaira. We're going to be doing that. We're streaming pretty much every day at the moment. It's all, you know, Tucker's driving it, so it's all on him. Um, and he's been pretty into it, so <clears throat> we've been streaming pretty much every day. Uh, I've made a few changes to the stream, you know, adding chat, adding notifications, um, and stuff like that. So hopefully the stream will be, like, reasonable going forward. Uh, and if you're interested in that type of content, that's where it's going to be found over on Twitch. There will be no VODs, at least the plan is for there to be no VODs of the 2004 WWE series uploaded on this channel. It's just not content for this channel, um, but they are being uploaded over on Tucker's channel. So if you're interested in that stuff, you know where to find it, hopefully. So that's current stuff that's going on. What's happening going... Oh, another thing uh, that I probably should announce is that me and Marshall Peterson from uh, Two Goblins has... Um, have began a podcast, a actual play D and D podcast. Uh, right now it's D and D, but it's kind of a, a generic, not generic, general tabletop actual play podcast that is going to be going on from now, pretty much indefinitely, on Saturdays at three PM Eastern over on Twitch.tv slash Matsudairo. It is called Difficult Terrain, and it is essentially actual play with me and Marshall alternating GM roles and player roles, um, and kind of just doing whatever we want at any particular time, but just always running something. Right. So right now Marshall is GMing um, in his campaign setting with a, the Stronghold and follower Strongholds and Followers supplement with um, the Sunless Citadel being the kind of the first arc of the campaign. And, 
yeah, and after that's finished, or <clears throat> after my character dies or whatever, I will pick up a GM slot. I'm planning on running D&D as well. And then after that, Marshall will pick up again. And I suspect, as we continue through difficult terrain, that Marshall will um, probably end up running other systems. I don't know if I will. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. But uh, Marshall almost certainly will. He's, you know, if I, I, I don't, if I know him well enough, he probably is going to eventually play some DCC. Um, I'm not sure what else, but I'm sure some some other stuff. Uh, so that's yeah, that's just going to be the case. That's just what we're going to do. We're going to pass GMing back and forth and run for each other uh, for whatever. And of course, it could involve other people as well, uh, depending on what Marshall wants to do. I think I'm probably going to keep mine as a solo thing, but. Again, it's going to be very dependent on who's running at the time. Saturday is 3 p.m. Eastern. Hopefully, hopefully we stay quite consistent with that. So, what's happening going forward? 2020 is the 10-year... I have to check a couple of times just to make sure. The 10-year anniversary of this channel, which is insane. I am too young to be having a 10-year YouTube anniversary, uh, and I do not have enough subscribers to be having a 10-year YouTube anniversary, but it still feels like an accomplishment to me, even though for years at a time I wasn't uploading. I still, I don't know, there's something about it. It feels like I've come a long way, and it's interesting that so much of my life is public, even though I still, I've never, I, I should do more of these videos where I just talk. So, for the 10-year anniversary, I do. I always want to do an anniversary thing, and this year we're actually going to do it. So, the anniversary is in August, technically, of the first video that is still publicly available. But this channel was uploading even earlier into the year. I think April is the technical anniversary. We often do our anniversary stuff in June, July. So, that's what I'm going to do again this year. This year, my plan is to do mini projects, or projects of varying size, on each of the games that have made this channel what it is right? That's very generic uh, of a description. But essentially, I have signpost games that I'm certain that I'd like to do something on. And then I have a few other games that I'm not so sure about. So we're going to start with what we can and get as far as we can, right? So when you're seeing this video, either tonight or tomorrow, at some point on the 9th or on the 8th or the 9th of June, I am going to be streaming Fallout New Vegas over on twitch.tv slash I have modded the game, I have got it working on my PC, I think it is going to run. <laughs> I have tried to keep the mods minimal, but to overhaul the game so that it feels relatively modern. And I think it looks quite good. So I'm looking forward to playing it and uh, exploring. And it's especially going back and playing that game now that I've played a lot more uh, tabletop since I first played it. Right, because I, I played a lot of tabletop RPGs before I play Fallout New Vegas. But I haven't played Fallout New Vegas since my recent, like, three or four years playing tabletop RPGs again. Um, online tabletop RPGs, I guess, specifically, with a few physical games sprinkled in. So I think the experience is going to be really different, and I'm really interested to see what the game offers in terms of non... Because I've very, I, I very much grown to like non... Um, kind of lower produced content, right? So the game has these really cool stories and quests and characters, and I, I love those. I know I love those. We're going to find out again to see if I still do. But I'm interested to see what the quieter moments of the game have to offer. And I'm excited about that. So we're going to be playing New Vegas this week, for sure. There'll be a mod list in the description when I eventually play it. That's over at twitch.tv slash And some of the VODs will make it to this channel. I'm almost certain of it. I don't want to promise anything, but I would I would like to see some of the VODs making their way over to, to this channel. After that, I have a few signpost games, and then a few less signposty games. So the signpost games that I would like to play during this period are Fallout New Vegas, TEW 2013, Call of Duty Zombies, and the Star Wars Fantasy Flight Games tabletop RPG. So, for New Vegas, I just want to do a playthrough. Just want to do a playthrough, see how long it lasts. Uh, not 100%, not speed run, just play New Vegas. Have fun with it. Maybe, probably, it's probably going to be quite long. I'm going to be honest, New Vegas is a long game. Probably going to take me like 40, 50 hours or something. Um, but that can be done in a week. Maybe two. After that, I'm going to play TW 2013. I don't know what I'm going to do in that yet. I think I might do an MAW save. I might do a Smarky save in the C-verse where you just sign all the indie boys from 2013 and have a little bit of fun. Why not? 
Or I might do some viewer-controlled stuff. Or I might meme it up with some TNA. Could do a Road to Glory. I'm open to suggestions. I also need to get TW 2013. <laughs> I haven't got it installed right now. Uh, I'm going to have to email R Ari, I think it is, and say, like, yo, can I have my... Can I have my activation key, please? Because uh, it has been a while since I've played TW 2013. I never went back after 16. So I'm going to get that loaded up and see if it still runs. <laughs> um, that'll be quite interesting. For Call of Duty Zombies, I don't know what I'm going to do. I've wrote down here that I'm probably either going to play Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 3. But then, I, as I've thought about it more, I'm like, actually, Black Ops 2 is pretty good. So... I don't know what I'm going to play. I might leave it open to the fans. I, I, I've never played Black Ops 3 on the channel. So, I might play that. I enjoy that. It's actually quite good. Um, so, I, 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 I'm going to give it a gander. might give it a gander. And uh, as for what I want to do on it, uh, I've written down here challenge runs again. For those of you who don't remember, which is probably all of you, because anybody, even though those streams are incredibly successful, all of the people who watched them left immediately afterwards. So... I got into YouTube streaming one summer, and I had some really successful Call of Duty zombie uh, streams in the lead-up to the release of Black Ops 3, I think it was, where I would get to round 30, I believe, on every single map that had, been, that had come out up until that point. And I'm pretty sure I did, um, which is honestly quite impressive, um, if I think about it. Like, obviously, like, if you're really into your zombies, you know, round 30 is not that hard. But it's still, like, a good, like, two hours of training most of the time. Um, which is, like, you know, that's some effort and some dedication. It takes a certain level of player to be able to do that. Um, so I'm still quite impressed that I managed to at least do that on most of the maps. I don't remember if I did it on all. And I got a really nice run-in on one of them. I think it was Mob of the Dead. I think I got to, like, 50 or something in one evening. And, uh, yeah, so those were fun streams. But I'm really shit now. <laughs> so I've written down here that I'm not entirely sure I could do challenge runs again. So I'm thinking about that one. That one should be quite easy to stream. That might be the second thing I do, because TW and Star Wars are going to be harder to put together. The final, like, signpost game that I definitely will play is Star Wars Fantasy Flight, Fantasy Flight Games Tabletop RPG. The, I uploaded the Mandalorian Wars and the Dunes of Utapau campaign to this channel. That makes up about 50 of the videos on this channel. That's a hefty chunk, and I look back at those with some pride, as do most of the people who are involved with that. So I think that's been a very important part of the channel. I would like to do a one-shot in the system. I would like it to be GM'd by the guy who played Sles Voss in the Dunes of Utapau campaign. And I would like it to be the four people from the original campaign who played, plus Marshall who GM'd the original campaign. And I'd like them to play, just for a one-shot. I don't really care what it's about, but I think that would be fun. Some other side games that I don't really have ideas for, but I might want to play. Minecraft, played that a lot on the channel. We have this Grandar save, which is something that matters to the people who played it, which is cool. Um, then we have... Football Manager, which was originally on the list, and I was like, you know what, probably isn't as important, but it came up at a time where I was very inconsistent, and it made my YouTube channel a lot more consistent, it also got good views, pretty happy with how that worked out, uh, Europa Universalis 4, I played for quite a bit, and it's got quite a chunky amount of the ch videos on this channel, maybe I want to play a bit of that, Blood Bowl, me and my friends who played in those ESI leagues, some of them really like it, uh, I like the ESI leagues, but I think some of the people who played in them, like it more than I do. So it'd be interesting to play one of those again. Um, the podcast. I don't know what I could do for like an anniversary podcast. I could try and get all the guests back on. But it's so hard now. I'd, I'd want to get like uh, Dio. And. Uh, is it Rocks? No. There was another guy. I can't remember. But like I'd want to get like the old school Dons on. And they're all. Uh, nobody knows who they are anymore. So it's 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 hard to find those guys and get them back on. I'd like to get Reese back on for the zombie stuff as well, but I'll have to talk to him about that. Yeah, but other than that, I'd, I want to do anniversary stuff, and I want to actually do it, right? I've talked about this shit before, and it hasn't happened. That's why I'm uploading this channel video, so that if it doesn't happen, you can point to this and say, Putty, you never did it. But I'm doing New Vegas. I'm doing it tonight or tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Link to the Twitch is in the description. Link to Tucker's YouTube channel is in the description if you want to watch the O4 stuff. Um, link to the Discord's in the description if you want to join it. Link to Marshall's... No, I won't link Marshall's channel. <laughs> His link is in the Difficult Terrain episode 1, which is out now, by the way. So yeah, 
anything you need to you want to contribute, go ahead and hit me a link on Discord. I'm very open to listening. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to get better at outro. So thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you around for that new Vegas stream. Peace out.